Hello my friends, Svetlana Shlopak from UKVisaSuccess.com is here where the UK immigration system is explained in simple terms. Uh, today Coco and I are um, recording a video. First of all, I, just before I start with today's video, I would like to say thank you so much for all your help and support. I'm, I'm really touched by all your emails and thank you letters. Uh, I, I'm so, so glad that uh, they help you on your journey uh, in the debris of UK immigration system and that you understand uh, with, with the help of my videos you understand everything um, much better. I'm, I'm, I really appreciate it. Whenever I create my videos I always uh, keep uh, your best interest at my heart and I'm so glad and grateful to you that um, you know uh, that, that you're taking the time to say thank you so thank you so much for this. Um, after receiving a number of inquiries about the uh, work visas in the UK I realized two things. Uh, number one is that um, you seem to be lost uh, with the subject and number two you don't realize how many routes there are to obtain various uh, work visas and if you've seen the, uh, the the title of today's video yes this is absolutely correct uh, there are 18 uh, various types of uh, work visas which I'm going to explain uh, in today's video so the, I'm on a mission to change uh, your entire perspective of the work visas in the UK and also I'm going to what I'm going to do I decided to create an overview video for all 18 types of uh, work visas and then um, after that I will start creating um, uh, separate videos short videos overview videos for each category type so let's begin Uh, now, let me shed light on major types of work visas uh, in the UK. I bet you were surprised when you read uh, the title of today's video. And yes, this is true. There are at least 18 one eight, uh, work visas which you can apply for in order to work in the UK. Uh, to make life easier for you guys, I have divided them into four major categories. Tier 1, Tier 2. Tier 5 and other work-related category. T1 provides a route uh, for the high-value workers. Tier 2 provides a route for the skilled workers uh, with a job offer. Tier 5 is for temporary workers and youth mobility, uh, providing a route uh, for those coming to the UK for primary non-economic reasons. And um, the other work-related category is the category for all those types of uh, jobs uh, or visas which didn't fit into any uh, prior three. It is important to know that these types of visas are relevant only uh, for those who are outside of the European economic area and Switzerland, and of course, you need to meet the eligibility requirements to succeed in any type of your uh, work visa application. So let us begin with the tier one category. Um, I have identified four types of work visas which um, belong to this particular category. Um, number one, tier one entrepreneur visa. You can apply for tier one entrepreneur visa if you want to set up or run a business in the UK and you have at least uh, £200,000 invest, uh, to invest um, in the UK. Um, however, in certain cases, it can be as a little as £50,000. However, you need to uh, watch a separate video where I explain um, the difference and you know what types uh, will be needed. Uh, number two, tier two exceptional talent visa. You can apply for this type of visa if you have been endorsed in the field of science, uh, humanities, engineering, uh, medicine, digital technology, or uh, the arts, as a recognized leader with exceptional talent or as an emerging leader with exceptional promise. Uh, the next type of visa is a tier one graduate entrepreneur visa. You can apply for a tier one graduate entrepreneur visa if you are a graduate who has been officially endorsed as having a genuine and credible uh, business idea. And uh, type visa number four, tier one investor visa. You can apply for this type of visa if you want to invest at least two million pounds or more in the UK. 
Uh, moving to the category number two, uh, tier two. Um, so again, uh, I, there are four types of work visas in this category, and here they are. Um, number five, tier two general visa. Uh, you can apply for a tier two general visa if you have been um, offered a skilled job in the UK and um, you have a, a certificate of um, a sponsorship from a licensed sponsor. The work you will, which you'll be doing in the UK must relate to the work of your sponsor organization. Um, number six, tier two intra-company transfer visa. Um, you can apply for tier two intra-company uh, transfer visa if your overseas employer has offered you a role in the UK branch uh, of the organization and you hold a certificate of sponsorship from a licensed uh, sponsor. And of course, the work uh, that you'll be doing in the UK must relate to the work of your sponsor uh, organization. Uh, type uh, work visa number seven, uh, tier two minister of religion visa. You can apply for tier two minister of religion visa if you have been offered a job within a faith community. For example, in, as a minister of religion, missionary or a member of religious order in the UK and you hold a certificate uh, of sponsorship from a, a licensed sponsor. And uh, again, uh, the work that you'll be doing in the UK must relate uh, to the work of your sponsor uh, organization. A tier 2 uh, sports person visa. You can apply for a tier 2 sports person visa if you um, meet uh, all of the following requirements. Number one, you are an elite uh, sports person or qualified coach, coach recognized by your sports governing body as an internationally established uh, at the highest level. Uh, the second requirement, your sports governing body is endorsing your application. And number three, your employment will develop uh, your sports in the UK at the highest level. Um, now, let us have a look at uh, six types of uh, work visas in the tier five uh, category. Um, number nine, it's a tier five uh, charity worker, temporary charity worker visa. You can apply for this type of uh, work visa if you want to do an unpaid voluntary work uh, for a charity. Uh, number 10, uh, tier five uh, temporary creative and sporting uh, visa. You can apply for this um, one if you have been offered work as a sports person or a creative worker. A creative worker is someone who works in the creative industry, uh, for example, an actor, a dancer, a musician, or a film crew member, etc. Number 11, tier five uh, temporary government authorized exchange visa. You can apply for this type of visa if you want to come to the UK for a short uh, period of time uh, for work experience or to do some training uh, for an overseas uh, government uh, language program, uh, research or fellowship uh, through an approved uh, government uh, authorized exchange scheme, and you have a sponsor. Number 12, tier five uh, temporary international agreement worker. Uh, you can apply for a tier five uh, temporary uh, international agreement worker visa if you um, have uh, con uh, uh, if you if you agreed to do the work covered by the international uh, law while in the UK, for example, working uh, for a foreign government or as a private servant in a diplomatic household, and you hold a certificate of sponsorship from a licensed uh, employer, and the work you're going to do in the UK. Um, relates to the work um, of your sponsor organization. Um, a type uh, visa number 13 is a temporary religious worker. You can apply for this type of uh, visa if you want to do religious work such as preaching or working um, in a religious order and you hold a certificate of sponsorship from a licensed employer and the work that you are going to do um, is, uh, it relates to the work of your uh, sponsor organization. And the last uh, type of work visa in this uh, tier 5 category is the Youth Mobility uh, Scheme visa. You can apply for a tier 5 Youth Mobility Scheme visa if you want to live and work in the UK for at least uh, for up to two years. It's the maximum you can live here. Um, you are aged between 18 and 30 and you have savings of £1,890. And you have certain types of British nationality or you are from Australia, Canada, Japan, Monaco, New Zealand, 
uh, Hong Kong, uh, Republic of Korea, or Taiwan. And the last category mainly includes uh, non-points-based um, system types of work, and here they are. Number 15, a domestic workers in a private household visa. You can apply for this type of visa if you uh, want to visit your employer and um, you are a domestic worker in a private household and have worked for your employer uh, uh, for at least one year. Uh, domestic workers include uh, people like cleaners, chauffeurs, uh, cooks, uh, those providing personal care for their employers uh, and their families, nannies, etc., etc., etc. Type visa number 16, Turkish uh, business person visa. You can apply for a Turkish business person visa if you are a Turkish national and you want to start a new business in the UK or you want to come to the UK and help and run an established business. And type visa number 17 is a Turkish uh, worker visa. You can apply for a permission to stay in the UK as a Turkish worker if you're a Turkish national and have legally worked in the UK for at least one year um, as a spouse of a British uh, person or someone who's settled in the UK without any restrictions on working in the UK. Or you are a holder of a work permit allowing you to work in the UK. Or you're a student uh, which, uh, and um, your visa allows you to work at least 20 hours a week during the term time and full time uh, during uh, vacation periods. And the last a type of uh, visa, which is, um, you know, uh, rather unknown uh, type of visa, but uh, I think it will be very, very beneficial if you uh, know about this one. Uh, it's called the UK Ancestry uh, Visa. You can apply for a UK Ancestry Visa and get the unlimited right to work in the UK if you are a Commonwealth citizen applying from outside of the UK. So it means that you cannot make an application while in the UK. And you are able to prove uh, that one of your grandparents parents was born in the UK and you are able and planning to work in the UK. And this is the end of my overview of the 18 types of work visas uh, in the UK. Um, what I'll be doing, guys, um, I shall be creating separate videos for every single UK work visa uh, category, just to make it uh, slightly clearer for you. And if you want to receive the links to these videos, uh, click the link below and uh, subscribe and you will get uh, these links automatically. If you found this video useful, please let me know by clicking on the like button, share with your friends, subscribe to my uh, channel and also visit my website ukvisasuccess.com for plenty of free information and I wish that you have an amazing day.